good evening and welcome back to the channel sorry it's been a while since my last video um, I've had a really really hectic schedule with work um, just not had the time to get out and make the videos that I wanted to make but I'm now on my holidays and we've taken a trip down to Salisbury um, and I'm on my way this evening to um, quite a fantastic experience of a badger hide but this is a badger hide with a little bit of a difference in that it's got a um, reflection pool and the badgers come in and they, and they tend to drink from the water so hopefully we'll get some some quite good shots I'm not a male no I'm with the one and only Pops good evening um, so we're on a little bit of a photographic adventure um, it's got some new aspects of photography with it and um, so we're going to be using flash photography tonight um, the setup is that these he's already got the flashes in situ and we're going to have some triggers on our cameras um, which will hopefully because he's never used them with uh, Nikon Z9s before so they'll hopefully trigger the flashes that's that's the hope um, there is a floodlight that floodlights the area um, so I'll be able to do lots of video on, uh, just pushing the ISO up a little bit higher than normal for the video um, but hopefully I'm quite optimistic that the flashes will work I brought a whole bag full of, of various different transmitters that hopefully maybe will work with these flashes if what he's got there doesn't work so I'm kind of creating as much as we uh, you know taking away much of the chance as possible um, but hopefully it will, all, it will all pan out it's a little bit new though this because although I've done flash photography with my camera traps um, actually flash on camera is not something that I often do with wildlife so this is a little bit different um, so uh, quite exciting um, I'm gonna lend some of my knowledge of flash photography with the camera traps in terms of shutter speed uh, aperture ISO and, and use that to my knowledge to try and get the shots that I'm looking for um, and fingers crossed we'll get some some good shots so come along for the journey and see what we see so me and my dad was just talking about the use of flash and it's it, it's something that often causes a little bit of uh, controversy really with with regards to wildlife photography I know in the past when I've posted photographs from um, my camera trap that I've had comments um, on Instagram from people saying you know that you shouldn't use flash with particularly with nocturnal species um, but I've when I've been photographing the badgers with um, the camera traps I always make sure that the flashes are high so they're not at eye level so that they're pointing down on them and at the same time as the camera traps I always use um, a trail camera to and I use that as a source of knowledge really to study how the flashes and the camera trap affects the behavior of the badgers and, and in all honesty they don't even flinch um, but flash photography is something that you know some people really don't like with wildlife photography and they're very much against it and other people use it a lot um, I know Tom Mason on a recent trip um, photographing hares was using flash photography to fill the shadows in um, and he was producing some absolutely fantastic photographs uh, what, what's your thoughts dad? from my point of view I, I don't particularly like fla flash photography with wildlife I've, I've never done it before so this is this is going to be a, a first for me. Um, I much prefer natural lighting, um, but these are nocturnal animals, and uh, I've seen some of the photographs that have been produced from this hide using the flash, and they look absolutely stunning. So hey, I can't really knock it until I've tried it. Um, we'll see what happens. Yeah, and it, it's something different, isn't it? You know, uh, it is. I think from looking at some of the images that have been produced at this hide, they're images you would yeah, never achieve that. if you didn't have flash. Um, and and you know, when you're photographing nocturnal species, you really have got very little choice other than to use artificial lighting to to, to light yeah. up your subject. Please follow the road um, for so, one mile. Yeah, it, it, it'll be interesting. We'll certainly talk to camera after we've finished it and kind of give our views on, on what we think of uh, flash photography with wildlife well it's something new yeah and I'm always up for something new so long as it doesn't harm the wildlife that we're photographing yeah that's that was always my 
like it's uh, like you say you you use uh, camera traps and you set the flash I've been with you when we set the flashes up and they're always high up they're not at eye level um, and the evidence that you've produced and I've seen it doesn't affect them at all I mean no. what's the difference between a flash and a flash of lightning yeah yeah you know. so we'll see so we're all set we're at the hide I'll give you a bit of a tour and um, I'll show you what's what's what and where the and what we're expecting so I'll turn it around I'm very excited can you tell I'm in, churning over my words so here we go I'll show you around so we've got the hide there where you can see Pop's just setting up and then we've got the reflection pool there it's going all the way down and we've got some flashes that are set up there and there and also some set up higher up there So I'll take you into the hide now, show you inside the hide. So we're all set up at the hide. Um, badgers probably be appearing in the next 20 minutes or so. Um, so we're gonna have to be very quiet. Badgers are very sensitive to noise, so we're gonna have to be very quiet and obviously the lights will be out in the hide so you won't be able to see us so um, I'll do some video um, and then I'll do some voiceover for the video so to talk you through what we've been seeing um, but it's very exciting we're all set up flashes are all working took some test shots everything's good we're happy with what we've got so it's just a case of waiting now waiting for them to turn up just take a quick test shot Yeah, really happy with that. It's a fantastic, fingers crossed. Let's see what we get. You excited, Pops? I'm excited, but as we've just dis discussed, I'm completely out of my comfort zone. I have never, ever shot using flash at night. And it's took me a while to set up the cap. Well, Daniel had to set it up for me. Because um, it's totally different. Uh, but it's exciting, really exciting. Can't wait now. It's a bit jittery, but now I'm, I know I'm excited. So we'll get all the lights off, we'll get settled down, and let's see what we can see. It wasn't long at all before the badgers showed up. And as you can see from the video here, we had three at once, which was an absolutely amazing experience. They were all tucking into some peanuts and bait that had been put out by the, the owner at the end of the reflection hide. And as you can see from the video, they didn't even flinch when the flashes were going off. A fabulous photographic experience. So you would think with a captive audience as we got here the photographs would come quick and easy but actually the art was to try and capture the badgers as they lift the head up from the feed as badgers are notoriously quite greedy creatures they rarely lift their heads up from the feed so capturing that all important shot where you could see the full face was really quite difficult
The camera settings were really quite straightforward. We kept the shutter speed at 200th of a second. We had the aperture at f11, as badgers are quite a large, a large animal, so you wanted to try and keep as much of them as possible in focus. And then we just adjusted the ISO, depending on how much of the, the whites were exposed correctly using the flashes. It seemed to produce the best images at around 1000 ISO, but if they were ever too bright, we just brought the ISO down to expose the whites correctly. I could have genuinely watched these badgers feeding all night long. It was a truly amazing experience. At times I sat up from the camera and just watched with my own eyes, something we forget to do as photographers, but something I, I urge all photographers to do once in a while. Just capture that moment so you can hold on to it forever. Okay, so we're finished. We've done the um, best part of nearly four hours. Yeah, nearly four hours. In the hide. Yep. Um, and we've had a whole clan of badgers. It's been absolutely fantastic. What are your thoughts, Pops? Oh, it was just absolutely awesome. Far better than I ever expected. And uh, <laughs> they just took your breath away the way they... Uh, they came up, I mean, three at one go, all feeding away. I have never heard badgers quaff their food so loudly. <laughs> they really <laughs> were noisy, weren't they? Oh, it was just unbelievable. But the one thing that struck me was they were in absolutely pristine condition. Yeah. And how anybody could ever hurt these animals, I just, it, it, I just can't comprehend it. They're so beautiful. Yeah. Oh, awesome experience. Thank you, son. Absolutely fantastic. I more than recommend um, the Woodland Reflection Badger Hide um, in Dorset. A fantastic experience. Certainly something if you ever come back to this part of the world, I'll definitely be revisiting. It's first class, first class service, first class experience. So if you enjoyed this video, uh, please click like. 
Um, if you want to see some more, please click subscribe. And for now, we're off home and it's time for bed. <laughs> Ta-ra! Ta-ra!